there is particular reassurance these days in the royal standard flying above Buckingham Palace. It's a sign, it's the royal insignia, that the monarch is within the palace and well, well, not exactly and not entirely well after the cancer diagnosis, but certainly well enough to be carrying out several of his duties, uh, though not duties that have a public interface, not for now. Prime Minister Sunak has said that he is shocked and sad over the diagnosis, but that it is reassuring that the diagnosis came early and treatment has, of course, begun early. And there is firm reason to believe that the king can fight off uh, this cancer and come back to normal living privately and publicly. The king will be staying on at Buckingham Palace for his treatment in hospital and he will be visiting that hospital as outpatient. He will be traveling in and out of the palace, which has advised against any intrusive interest or photography in order to respect his privacy. Advice that certainly is being followed quite completely, at least for now. Meanwhile, uh, Prince William uh, will be stepping in to fill in for the king at at least some of the public engagements that the king had to take on over the next few days and weeks, certainly that have had to be put off, certainly with his attendance in it. The 41-year-old prince has himself been away from public duties to look after his wife, Kate, who's been recovering from abdominal surgery. The other prince, uh, Harry, will be here more really as son than as prince. Certainly he will have no public duties to carry out, but of course, a very meaningful visit for the family and for the country that has witnessed for too long now the very bitter and very public divisions uh, that have uh, arisen within the family. The tourists who crowd around the palace every day are here, no doubt, as tourists, but also now as well-wishers. People are expressing concern, of course, but not with any sense of doom here. Lord Dobbs, uh, who knows the king and was born the same day as the king, is himself a cancer survivor and he's reminded people there is no need to feel appalled uh, over this news and over this development. The king, in fact, chose to share word on the diagnosis in a quite matter-of-fact way. The world has been joining in in sending good wishes to the king, President Biden, President Macron, Prime Minister Modi, just about every leader has wished King Charles well, a testimony to the affection so much of the world has for him. But without doubt, the treatment is going to be a long haul, several weeks uh, at the least, most certainly. And he certainly has the best care possible and without doubt, all the good wishes anyone could hope for. King Charles has been diagnosed with cancer and will postpone for now his public facing duties. That's according to a statement from Buckingham Palace on Monday. The palace did not disclose what form of cancer the British monarch had, but said he is quote wholly positive about his treatment and looks forward to returning to full public duty as soon as possible. Charles spent three nights in a hospital last month where he underwent a corrective procedure for an enlarged prostate. The palace said a separate issue of concern had been spotted during the hospital visit, but did not give any further details on the nature of the cancer. A royal source said that it was not prostate cancer. The 75-year-old monarch was crowned in September 2022, following the death of his mother, Queen Elizabeth.
He's not the first member of the royal family to have had cancer. He's the first reigning monarch in Britain in the modern age to have had cancer publicly like this while on the throne. Um, uh, after all, his, his great uncle, um, Edward VIII, um, died of cancer, albeit he, he wasn't king at the time. Um, I think the problem here is that one of the things that the monarchy gives the nation is stability and something about this obviously is very unsettling and the king will wish um, to continue to embody stability for the nation to be this figurehead of reliability and dependability but my own feeling is that people will applaud this openness um, they will recognize that there are benefits to other people about people in public life being um, frank in this way. And of course, the king as the head of the ch church, I think um, he may make a reasonable assumption that members of the church will wish to pray for him at this moment. Um, so that's why I'm back to David, but I think what his son is, yeah, it's like, anyway, so it's We're this way. Sounds nice. I mean, like this whole family feud thing seems a bit silly in my opinion. They should all make up and hopefully this brings them together a little bit more. I mean, you know, he's got to come back to see his father, hasn't he? I mean, it's the right thing to do. This is our first time in London and we're kind of like, oh. Yeah, we I, saw I it last felt night. Like, oh no. We saw the headline you know, here last we come to night. London so. and that happens. It was yeah. sad. Yeah, our prayers are with him. So. Yeah, and his family. So. I think it's sad. I think it's something that a lot of families have experience with. Hope so, so although it's a shock, hopefully he'll get through it. Well, I, I think with every, any family bust up, it's, it's sad. So maybe it's good. I think um, it's surprising, but um, I imagine the fact that they've probably released the news means he's probably going to be OK. Um, but overall, um, yeah, I think he, hope he's all right. 